Coming up, as the Hamilton County mask mandate is set to expire, we'll explain why officials are hoping people will still keep wearing them. And we'll hear from one of the owners of the iconic Jim Oliver Smokehouse that burned on Mont Eagle yesterday. The story straight ahead on News 12 Now at 6. News 12 Now at 6. With Emily Casulo and Andrew Harrison. Chief Meteorologist Patrick Corr. And sports with Rick Nyman. Your news starts now. Good evening, everybody. I'm Andrew Harrison. And I'm Emily Gosulo. Thanks for joining us for News 12 Now at 6. With Hamilton County's mask mandate set to expire at the end of the day today, local officials are still warning the public to continue wearing face coverings in situations deemed as high risk of exposure for COVID-19. News 12's Keenan Scott spoke with Hamilton County Mayor Jim Coppinger about what this means for folks who live here. Hamilton County's mask mandate is set to expire by the end of the day Wednesday, but county officials are still warning the public to continue wearing face coverings in situations that are deemed as high risk of exposure for COVID-19. The news comes as the CDC has released updated guidelines saying that fully vaccinated people can now visit with other fully vaccinated people indoors without masks or physical distancing. Hamilton County Mayor Jim Coppinger tells News 12 that although the mandate is expiring, it doesn't mean that residents should let their guard down. Our plea to the community is to help us to minimize uh, the spread. We're continuing to deal with the pandemic, uh, even though the mask mandate's been lifted. He says that local vaccination rates aren't yet where they should be, and that getting vaccinated is highly encouraged for those who are willing and able to do so. But we're still having people that are uh, not getting vaccinated and people that are still dying in our community, and we can avoid that by, being, by people being vaccinated. Certainly with crowded indoor spaces, uh, vaccinated or unvaccinated, uh, masking is still uh, still recommended. Sizemore also expressed concerns about vaccination rates, saying that they were key to ending the pandemic. Really, the bottom line is we need to continue to get more people vaccinated. That protects our citizens, it protects our community, and it allows us to continue to to get back to normal. The Tennessee Department of Health reports that about 37% of Hamilton County residents had received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, with 28% having received two doses. In Chattanooga, Keenan Scott, News 12 Now. Thank you, Keenan. Well, local theaters can now apply for their shuttered venue operator grant to make up a revenue loss from the pandemic. With the bass mandate about to be lifted, how will the Tivoli and Chattanooga Theater Center operate and can they compete with streaming platforms? News 12's Winston Reed takes a peek behind the curtain. The shuttered venue operators grant can compensate venues like theaters up to 45% of their gross earned revenue. The application process started Monday. The pandemic cost the Tivoli Theater more than $10 million in revenue. These are expensive buildings, so you know every month we spend uh, upwards of $100,000 some months on just basic maintenance, basic capital improvements, basic things just to keep the buildings from from deteriorating. It's been a long time waiting. I actually knew about this grant a year ago. Director of the Chattanooga Theater Center, Rodney Van Valkenburg, was determined to get his application in. Grants are first come, first serve. We know that because of COVID and the pandemic, performing arts venues like the Chattanooga Theater Center are some of the most hard hit uh, organizations or businesses in the country. Both theaters operate at a small capacity and will continue to require precautions like masks at this time. The Tivoli recently started hosting private showings of the latest movie releases. How are venues going to be able to compete with streaming platforms going forward? Half the joy of the Tivoli is being in a community experience with other folks, you know, people from all walks of life. If a movie was dropping Friday and you wanted to see it, are you going to go watch it on a streaming platform or are you going to your local theater? Streaming platform. It's more convenient and I don't have to, I don't have to spend as much money on the snacks. I would choose the local theater because it's definitely a different experience than streaming it. I agree with that. I would rather be in a big theater, see that big screen. I always think that there is a human need to be together to watch something. It's so much different uh, watching a play with an audience full uh, of people laughing and enjoying and having that, that shared experience. That's what makes it unique. Reporting in Chattanooga, Winston Reed, News 12 Now.